Hey, what's up, guys? So I want to solve this uh, legal problem because it's back in number of expected cards of you should turn before finding ace. Uh, so the problem is that shuffle your ordering desk of 15 playing cards contain for ace, then turn up the cards from top until the first ace happened. Now I read how many cards you require to be turned before you produce before you produce the first ace. Okay, so this problem is simple if you uh solve by symmetry. So the idea is that uh, you that you have four aces, right? You have four aces. And uh, you have like five positions, right? So uh you you have like total uh after this, so rem uh delete these four aces, you have like remaining forty eight cards. So each each part like have nine point uh nine nine point six. Okay, so answer will be like nine point six. If somebody asks you about how many expected cards that you need to flip, basically it's just 9.6 plus 1, which is 10.6. Okay, so this one, uh, this solution is like uh, one can like solve this. Okay. Uh, but there's another idea that uh, the one, one actually can solve this by a uh, brute force. So one can solve it by brute force. Uh, right, if you solve by brute force, then the Right, so uh, you can imagine that the car if A is here, that uh, you can like, have like 50, 1, 2, 3, because you need to put the remaining A's. Okay, so I would imagine that the rest of car are indistinguishable. And uh, if A is, if there is A's on the second part, that uh, you will get 50, uh, 50, 2, 3. And uh, if A is on the third part, you'll get uh, 50, 49, 2, 3. And if you've got the a on uh uh fourth uh the first position, then you get forty eight two three. Okay, and then you sum us up to like this is fifty two fifty one fifty forty eight nine. So a is here, so you get the forty three two three. Okay. So the the expected number will be just sum over the sum over all this. Okay, so uh. 51, 2, 3 uh, is 0, right? Plus 1, which is 50. 50, choose uh, right, it's, uh, 50, choose 3. And uh, 42, 2 times 49, choose 3. And the 3, 48, choose 3. Up to like 3, choose 3 times 1. Okay, so uh, one can solve this by just summation of 51 minus n. Like uh fifty one choose uh three, three and choose three okay okay and uh, there is a many way to do this okay so this is like a sum that uh, one want to compute and uh right and there is a I I identity called hockey stick. so which tell you that uh, if they say uh you have the n choose k Summation, let's say uh, n from k from l, this will be like uh, l plus one and uh, k plus one. Uh, you can check my other videos to prove this identity, but yeah, you can prove this. Okay, so you can solve this, and uh, maybe a little bit tricky that uh, yeah, maybe a little bit tricky is that uh, there's a non the uh, yeah. So basically. One way is to combine these two. For example, like, uh, for uh, for example, right. So you can, like, let's say, you can just do do the do the reverse. Ah, sorry, this is stupid. This is fifty. What? Okay. Uh, fifty. Yeah. Not fifty one. This is like uh forty eight. Okay. So uh, one way is to like, uh, pull this two and combine with this one and uh makes so basically you just keep using this uh keep using this identity to compute this 51 and minus n and choose three and from three to sum to 51. okay but but let me just tell you uh the brute force calculation okay so one way is to to do this is that Oh, I I think I I I have the formula that I can do right, so I can compute and choose three minus n and choose three. Okay, so now I can just uh massage this. Right? I can just massage this. 
Uh, right, I can just massage this to right BS list. Okay, so it's 51 and two, three from 51 and two, three minus. Uh, so the, you can combine this to be and choose four, right? But you need to type 24, uh, 20 times six, uh, times four, right? Because and choose four is 24. So you get summation of n from three to 51, four and choose four, minus n from three to 51 and choose three. So you get 52 and choose three from 51 and choose three, minus four times n from three to 51 and choose four. Okay, so let me just copy it. So we get 52 and from three to 51 and choose three, minus four, and from three to 51 and choose four. Okay, so now we use the this hockey stack identity. So I get 51, this guy can be just 52, four, right? Minus uh, for this one that, uh... oh, sorry, I forgot this is n plus one, right? So n plus one, plus one. Okay, so this is n plus one, right? So I can change this to be, uh. I can change it to be n, so I've suffered n from 4 to 52, so I will get the uh, 4 times 50 is 3, 5. Okay, I can compute this, right? So this guy, I can brute force compute. I can take uh, 52 factorial, 4 factorial, 48 factorial, and 52 minus, so 53, and there's a 5 factor here, so 5, and uh, still 48, so it's just this. Okay, so 52 factorial, 4 factorial, 48 factorial. So this is 5. And then this is like 260 minus 212. So it's like 48. So you can get 52 factorial, 5 factorial, 70, uh, 47 factorial. So this guy is 52 choose 5. Okay, so amazingly that uh, your uh, expected number right, will be just 52 choose 4. Right, and the uh, 52 choose 5. Okay, so it's 52 factorial, 47 factorial, 5 factorial, uh, 52 factorial, 4 factorial, 48 factorial. So you get uh, 48 divided by 5. Okay, so this is like the second proof that uh, you just uh, keep using this hockey's identity and uh, try to do this. Okay, so see you guys next videos.